Well hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a collab video I'd like to share with you. I was invited by 360 Nails to do this collab and it is our top five picks of um, transition colors from summer to autumn. So um, I picked out five and uh, went through what I could get to in my collection and picked out five to share with you today. Before I get started, um, Oh, and I am going to swatch them on a swatch wheel. Before I get started, I want to encourage you to go check out 360 Nails. I'll leave a link for her channel down below, and um, we'll get on into it. So the first one I have is this Finger Paints, and it's this luscious orange. It's got like some pink shimmer and gold shimmer going on in it. It's bright enough for summer, but definitely something you could wear in the fall. And this one is called Vermilion Dollar Painting. So let's pop this one out and swatch it. Look how bright and shiny that is. Gorgeous. So there's the first coat of my first pick. And these are in no particular order. Vermilion Dollar Painting. And that is from Finger Paint. Now I've gotten asked questions a lot about um, these swatch dots and putting them over like polishes like this that come with the name on the top. I just broke out my little label maker and made a little label. There's three of them in today's batch. And here's the little label maker, Dusty, that I use. And here's my second choice. It's by L'Oreal. And this one's called Not a Cloud in Sight. Now this is a beautiful like dusty aqua blue, seafoam green blueish kind of color. And I use these a lot like in mermaid or ocean type um, manicures. But I also think that that would work for autumn. You know, one of those breaking out the cozy uh, flannel shirt or, you know, sweater for those chilly nights. So there's the first coat of not a cloud in sight. Beautiful. It's showing up much more baby blue on film. Maybe I'll play with some lighting here in a minute and we'll see, you know, see how that goes. My second choice is, um, of course, a, a good find at um, Sally's Markdown. But this is a Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure Polish. It was also one with the name on the top, so I made a label. This one's called Good to Grape. And it's a beautiful purple and nice cream and I think that this is a lot like the blue one here. It's bright enough for summer but you know it starts getting that dusky feeling to it and makes it you know a really nice polish to to wear before or in in between between summer and fall. So there we go with our first coat of that. Love the brush. And that is good to great. And then this next one was a no brain This was the first one I picked. This was one I knew that I wanted in here no matter what. This one was coming in. This is a Revlon. And of course, it had its name on the top, too. And this is Cherries in the Snow. Now, this is like a red pink, a pink red. And I think it is perfect for this time of year. It's, um, once again, bright enough for it to be a summer polish, but it's got that dusty, deep, deeper look to it. It's not a neon. It is bright, but it's not a neon. The camera cut me off, but cherries in the snow, and it's not showing up true to... Here, let's see if I can back off some of the lighting. That's a little more true. But it's definitely more berry looking than what I'm seeing on film. Well, let's carry on. Maybe I'll be able to get a good swatch photo of it. Now, my last polish... Oops. Cherries in the snow. <clears throat> my last polish that I picked for this, to me, is a really all around, any time of the year, got to have, always. I think it's one of those that you could just use any time. But especially when you've got a transition where you're going from one season to another. And this is LA Colors Color Craze. You could use anything like this. It doesn't necessarily have to be this particular one. 
This one's number 34, and it's like a silvery, hollow glitter polish. And I just think that, you know, when you're going between seasons, something like this, it's just, it makes you happy. You know? Makes you, makes, makes you happy. Look at that. So, I'm going to roll through and do a second coat of each of these. Top coat them and come back and give you my final thoughts on this. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I have adjusted some lighting so that hopefully you'll be able to see some of these more true to color. I have added a second coat, actually a third one even on this one down here, and top coated them all. Let's roll through them really quick. The orange here is finger paints, and this one is vermilion dollar painting. Beautiful, beautiful orange with lots of shimmery goodness in there. There we go. This dusty blue is L'Oreal, and it's not a cloud in sight. I'm hoping you're able to see that it has got some dustiness to it and makes it just a good one. I got a little purple on it right there. And this purple here is a Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure, and it's good to grape. And then this beautiful one right here is Cherries in the Snow by Revlon. Absolutely beautiful polish. Oh, I wish the camera would do right by that one. And then finally we have the LA Colors Color Craze number 34. Beautiful silver hollow. Lots of bling going on in there. So, those are my picks for transition polishes from summer to fall. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what um, some of your favorite transition polishes are from one season to the next. Um, whether it's this one or any other one, but I'm kind of really interested in this one because um, we are heading into that. It won't be long before... The you know, the leaves all start changing colors here, and we start getting our cooler temps. So, again, I want to uh, remind you to go check out 360 Nails, and I will leave a link down below for you to go check out her channel. And I would like to thank her for inviting me to do this collab. I always, en always enjoy doing collab videos, but that is all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.